Hey, what is up guys? Morgborg here with the review of the Alcatel Pixie Unite for track phone. Now, I'm I don't normally do reviews on my channel, but I, but I feel like I should do a review of this one just because I was searching around on YouTube and could not find a proper review for this device. So, here you go. And anyways, without any further ado, let's get started. So let's turn it on. And if you didn't know, I'll be testing this device in 12 different areas which includes but are not limited to photo, video recording, benchmarking, gaming, web browsing, and YouTube. And then after I've got a score for all the categories, I'll add them up out of 120 and find the percent for that which will be my overall rating okay this is taking an awful while okay there we go so let's let's do the photo take a look at some photos on the phone yeah if you didn't notice this is being recorded in 30 frames per second because I'm going to be editing the clips together and I wouldn't want the file size to be too large Alright, here's photo one. Now, you'll notice that all my photos are nature shots, so this one's of a bush. And if I say so myself, it does not look that bad. So, on with the next one. This one. Alright, here's the one with it zoomed in. And even though you can't really tell on camera, but it is quite blurry, so that's a minus. And then here's it sort of zoomed in and it's also kind of blurry so that's a minus as well so I'll, I'll put the total score out of 10 for this category in the somewhere in the video I'll figure that out later but you'll see it when this is uploaded so yeah now let's take a look at some videos I recorded some time ago Okay, there you go. Now, if you couldn't tell, the camera, the video quality looked a lot better when it was zoomed out rather than zoomed in, which is kind of an issue with all cheap Android phones like this one. So, yeah, once again, I'll put my rating somewhere on the screen for you guys to see. Let's run an Antutu test now which is one of the benchmark apps that I'm going to be testing this phone with. Alright. Okay, time to test it.
Okay guys, so apparently this is part of the test. Comment down below if it actually is. Yeah, because apparently this is a new version of Antutu, so they're, they've put new stuff in it. Alright, it is done now. So, let's take a look at the score. 21,006. And it says that this phone's score beats 1% of other phones sorry about that so yeah this kind of tells you that this is a very low-end phone it's just got a cheap old MediaTek in it so yeah now let's test Geekbench now I've installed Geekbench 3 on this phone even though it is not the latest version just for a little more fair competition. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, so now the Geekbench is finished and it completed surprisingly fast considering this is a low-end device and all the other devices that I reviewed recently such as the Galaxy S4 or the LG Optimus Exceed 2 do not do this test so quickly. So it received a single core of 354 and a multi core of 1128. Let's see where that would put us at on the chart of comparisons. So 354. It puts us right in between the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and the Galaxy S3. The Exynos version, by the way, which I believe is the 1 gig of RAM. And then for the multi core. Let's see where it leaves us there. Leaves us in between the Moto G first gen and the Moto X first gen. So yeah, this this phone would be about as fast as a phone from 2012 or 2013, which is okay for today, but it is definitely not the best whatsoever. Okay, now it's time to do some light gaming, so I downloaded Candy Crush on this phone because it's a very popular basic game that a lot of people like to play still today, even though it's like six years old, I believe. Okay, so as you could tell, it ran very well considering the low end processor in this thing. And and give me all the praise you would want in the comment section for how well I played this. Even though, if you didn't know already, I am not the best gamer out there. So, yeah. Okay, let's do some heavy gaming now by playing Asphalt Nitro. Which, if you didn't know already, racing games are very graphic intensive, as in they have lots of high end 3D graphics. Okay, I don't care about creating a gamer ID because I'm not a gamer. <laughs>
Oh, darn it. Okay, I don't care about all the connecting stuff and Google Play. I just want to play. And if you if you didn't know already, this game normally does have a tutorial, but I decided to skip it because I've played this game before and I know how to play it. So we're going to get to the good stuff. As you can tell when I move the phone around, especially like this, it's got terrible viewing angles, which is something I should have pointed out earlier, but for some reason I did not. Man, why do I keep knocking down the signs? Whoa, whoa. Oh, right, there we go. How do I not fall left every time I jump like so far left or far right? I might not win this, folks, so sorry. Alright, I got third place. Probably because of that wreck, but... Mm, that performed pretty well, actually. So... Yeah, it performed pretty well on this low-end device, and... Once again, you can... You can scold me about <laughs> wrecking the car, and also just let me know if I did a good job or not playing. So, yeah. Now it's time to do some web browsing. So I'll take us to a basic site and then a more advanced site. So, basic site, let's go to Google dot com and there you go that loaded like in all less than a second that's how fast it is so let me close that out and then I'll go to the verge dot com Let's see how long it takes to load this. And it is done. Pretty good. Let's try another advanced website. CNN.com CNN.coke Okay.
Okay, that loaded pretty quickly, so I'm quite impressed with that. Now, let's watch some YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to do it with this one because it's a full video rather than this. Even though it's my latest, it's two parts. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, what is up guys? Morgborg here with the unboxing and first look of the LG Sunset by Net10 Wireless. So, this phone is a couple years old, but it was a great deal, so I got it picked up. By the way, this is the mystery device that I was telling you guys about. Okay, if you want to see the rest of that video, just check out my channel, Morgborg Tech. And then this is the LG Sunset unboxing. So, yes. And the video was played quite beautifully on here, even though it was only 480p. No HD with this phone because the screen's only 480 by 800. And because it's got such a small screen size, the screen's actually very pixel dense with a PPI of 240, which is quite impressive. Okay, that is the last of all of the app related stuff. So now, let's just talk about the phone, starting with the basic performance. Like any other basic Android phone, the basic performance would be very good. And as for advanced performance, it is just as good with the 1.3 GHz quad-core processor in this thing. So yeah, well done to Alcatel for that. Okay, let's talk about the build quality of this phone. Now, like any other cheap, like any other cheap track phone, it is going to be all plastic, so this is a hard touch plastic and it, it sort of feels okay in the hand and the screen's gonna be plastic too so build quality is definitely not the best but it is pretty good for how much I picked it up for and now for that I picked up this phone for fifteen dollars which is excellent for any sort of Android phone unless you, you're like buying a an old Android gingerbread phone, which of course is probably going to be $15 anyways. So yeah, credit to Alcatel for that. After calculating the total and converting it into a percent, the this device scored 89 out of 120 points, or 74.1%, which is very good for an Android device that was only fifteen dollars brand new by the way so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment like this video share it with your friends and as always don't forget to subscribe and yeah peace out